No, hello. Hello and good morning. It was 10 a.m. on a Saturday. And I do these things because I care about you. Today. You can hear it. We're continuing Elden Ring. Mmm. So good. Yesterday. Got married. It's pretty neat. Um. Right here. Uh, yesterday we finished the Ronnie the Witch questline, which was very exciting. Uh, it took a bit of doing, uh, but we are currently right up here. We are on top of this little plateau, which was previously inaccessible to us. Um, we had gotten underneath to the village of the Albinarix by going through a little pathway over here and coming up underneath, which was fantastic. Uh, but now we've made it up to the top, top, top. And we left off yesterday. We're going to finish exploring this area here. And then I wanted to go back and... Actually, there was something I wanted to do first. We did just pick up a bunch of smithing stones. So I wanted to go back to the round table hold and talk to the blacksmith. Sorry, one. Talk to the blacksmith and get our twin blade upgraded. I believe we can bring it even higher now. Well, I took you, Mama, to lay out your arms. Uh, oh no. I'm wrong. Doesn't happen very often, but I was incorrect. Damn. Unfortunate. I thought we had enough. Thought we had enough. I also thought I was still on spinning sense sevens for it for some reason, not eights. I thought we were gonna break open a new plateau as well, get through sevens and make it into eights. But we're already there, it seems. That's fine. Oh, but we finished up right in front of this tower here, which has one of these puzzles right here. See three great wise beasts. Okay, so. Generally, we've done a few of these towers before. They said to seek three wise beasts. The three wise beasts are usually like these spirit turtles. So I don't know if these great wise beasts are going to be... These great wise beasts are going to be something similar. But I feel like... They should be. And one of the things that I noticed with the wise beasts is they like to hide them in silly places like over cliffs and around big line of sight things. So it wouldn't surprise me if there's maybe one on the roof or yeah, like that. Okay, so there's an actual turtle here. But it wouldn't surprise me if there was many, many different places we wind up having to look up. Oh. See what I mean? Look at this. Look at this substantial boy over here. Holy shit, that's a big turtle. But you see, you approach him over here, and the line of sight is huge. You have no way of seeing it. Until you get right there. Okay. So we need to find two more giant turtles. Now, <clears throat> previously, we had... Uh, um, in multiple different locations, there have been the turtles hiding in trees, like on the side of a tree. Um, I think the giant turtles are way too big for that. 
so that likely won't be a thing. Um, there was one that was invisible in a pool of water. And the only indication that it was there was there was a little splashing around on the on the on the water. Another thing that might make this a little more difficult is there's a lot of this blue hue in the air. It might make them difficult to see in the distance. It's already very blue here, and the turtles themselves are also very blue. So... Got him. This is fine. We didn't fall. Did not fall. Hmm. There's no more turtles down the cliff, which is nice. Uh, I don't see one on the building either, which is also kind of nice. One might imagine that there could be, if it is hidden up on like the roof style area, it would be maybe on the back of this tower, facing outward toward the water, because it's not at an angle that you can easily see. But it doesn't look to be the case. Seems to not be the case. Let's see on the back of the building. Can we get up here. Probably jump up there with torrent. Yeah. Can I get a better view? Back here is the question. The answer is no. Okay. Nothing over here. And nothing on the back of the building. Nothing down on the cliff there. I also wouldn't have been surprised if there was one, like, right there. Like, right above my helmet on that little rock outcropping. Would not have surprised me at all if it was one down there. Okay. So I wonder if we can see... I would really like to not have to double jump with my horse to get on top of this. Okay, I'm spooked. I'm getting off. I don't think I have much to lose. I have like 9,000 souls and we're right by a bonfire, but... Spooked. So, there's not that many places a giant turtle can hide in this area. So I'm wondering if they are invisible? In spots? It could be. They are... Oh, Chelona's Rise. What's the name of the area? It's like right here, there's just kind of rock just sitting here. Okay, there were animals in there. I was like, oh, did I find one? Oh, that would have been so sick. But no, there's actually an animal in there. I don't know if I should just be running around randomly swinging. Hunting for invisible turtles. I 
do need thin beast bones. I also don't know how far out they will spawn. I know the other puzzles of this that I've run into have been relatively close together. But they've also had a full 360 of land around them. Whereas this one's on a sheer cliff. So I don't know how further how much further out we'll go to see these big beasties. Like if maybe there'd be one up here. Or not. Or if this is like way too far up. For example. stuff dying around me. Oh, didn't make it. We've been up here before, though. There's a little wolf mini-boss up here. I was hoping that coming up here would give me a better vantage point of the area around, but there are still a lot of trees in the way. from the uh, Raya Lucaria Crystal Tunnels. Also, I will say that each time we did one of these puzzles, they never repeated the solution multiple times. It's like there's three great wise beasts. That's what it says, to see three great wise beasts. We've already seen one hanging on the edge of a cliff. So I doubt they will repeat it, but at the same time, I'm having a really hard time picturing anything else as to where these could be hidden, considering the areas that we've already looked and not seen them. That's why I'm checking over these, even though I doubt that's the answer. That is the reason I'm looking still. Must solve the puzzle to enter. Seek three great wise beasts. And again, we already found one giant turtle. Hanging on the ledge. Hanging on the, the side of the wall here. Somewhere around there. We are just actively seeking more. And again, I don't know how far away we can go to have these spawn still, but I don't see anything over here anymore. So we're gonna venture onward over here. Take a look around on this side. Down this little cliff here, for example. Mm -hmm. oh. Nothing down the edge. No spider turtles. Down the ledge there.
Hmm. I also haven't been over to this area yet. So, trying to keep an eye on the surroundings. You're still alive. Rude. Very rude of him to, you know, consider being alive. Oh, hi. One of the alpha wolves. Holy shit. I am dead. Yeah, if you get knocked off your horse, you just fucking die. Because you don't go into a state of, um... A state of immunity. Like you would if you were... Knocked down by an enemy, naturally. But this is a good chance to test something. Uh, I don't know if these reset when I die. So let's activate that, and then go look over the cliff here. I think this is where he was. We'll check out the we'll check out the um, area a little bit more, but I'm pretty sure that's where he was. It looks like they do not respawn. So the puzzle progress seems to remain static. Holy shit, that wolf hit hard. Jesus. Cracked off torrent insta. And there was a second one that just came over and ate me. It's pretty sick. Alright, so let's play it a little safer here instead of gallivanting around on my horse. There's a bunch of these alpha wolves here. That is not how wolf packs work, my dude. There's usually only one alpha. Oh, hi. Where's the last one? You're not the last one. You are. Yo. Okay. Took out the wolf pack. Now, we continue the hunt. The three great wise beasts. Part of me is hoping that this is the correct answer. And we have to like go hunt them down across the plateau. And that there's just an area that has like an additional one in those spots. But the 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 one was just really close to show you, hey, this is what you're looking for. No, we're not pulling your leg. It actually is a giant spirit turtle. Wolves are really bulky. Like, I get that they're alphas, but damn, they're really bulky. 
least I presume that is the correlation. They're alpha wolves. Leaders of the pack and such. Again, though, doesn't make sense from a wolf standpoint. It's like, how do you have multiple alphas in a pack? Okay, still keeping an eye over the ledge here. Taking a peek around. And maybe there are more spirit animals. Maybe it's not just the... Not just a turtle. Maybe like a spirit wolf or a spirit dragon. That would also be pretty neat. It's really dark in this little area over here. There's fucking nothing over here, too. Lovely. Alright. Hmm. And I actually pretty okay with the order that we're doing this in, because even if this isn't the solution, uh, we can always just go back to the tower and continue it and look around there again, but I haven't fully explored this plateau area. So this gives me a not only just a convenient excuse. Okay, though, there's a bunch of turtles here. Okay. This could be our spot. There's a whole bunch of turtles here. Look at them all. This could totally be it. There's like a pathway of turtles. We were just down there. So I don't think we jump. Check over the ledge here. No. Dude, there's so many turtles. Killing them will make it spawn, maybe? Nope. Doesn't seem to. was really open. We found all those turtles. Like, oh, this could be it. This could be it. We maybe found the solution. It wasn't it. Well, let's get back up there. I suppose. Oh, it just, it feels so correct to be right here. You know? Oh, this twin blade, dude. 
Well, there's yet more turtles up here. Though I don't see any more this way. Double checking over the ledge to make sure it's not there. At Lunar Estate Ruins we've been to already. But that was before we activated the pedestal, which I believe is what starts the puzzle. So we'll need to take a look around inside here again. Deal with these things one more time. with those eventually. Ghost Glove Wart 2. Pardon me for a moment. Uh, finish up my tea. And by finish up, I mean finish making my tea. I have a, uh, well, it's early and I haven't finished uh, making my tea by the time stream started. Oh yeah, delicious. Alright, let's keep poking around. We're on the lookout for a giant turtle. little puzzle we've got here. See so again, I also, I don't know how far out the stuff spawns from the tower, because the tower is all the way back here. Like, we are on the polar opposite side here. It is quite possible that all these giant turtles are nowhere near where I think they are. they are nowhere to be found up here. Oh, I missed one. Nice. Very nice. Oh, just poking around out here. Moonfolk Ruins, we've also already been to a bunch of invisible nerds. Damn. Blow up the whole ass ruin. Okay, we've already been through here a couple of times. Don't particularly feel like stopping to do it again. It's just a whole bunch of invisible dudes. That are super obnoxious to track down. And we're already out of combat, look at that. And if you remember me saying earlier... It's 
flying turtle. Well, I certainly didn't expect to see that today. Look at him, dude. He's just having a great time. That's amazing. Oh, that's actually incredible. Oh my god. Alright, well, let's get over there and go hang out with him. I don't have any long-range projectiles like that, so we're going to have to figure out how to get to them. I mean, I do have long-range projectiles, but... I have to... Wait, where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. There's also a spirit spring jump here, so I think we can... Just yeet on up there. Maybe land on him? Or can I swing while I'm jumping on the spirit spring? Hey! See all their eyes opened. What do you mean? I only hit two of them. I mean, I'll take it. The only thing I can think of is maybe it randomly died. Because, you know, animals can just die to things. I don't know, dude. Seems weird. That one of them would just randomly die to something. Though again, it is possible if it was moving around kind of like the flying one was. You know, the flying one was circling. It's possible it just fell off the cliff. That it was near. Kind of disappointing, but that's alright, I guess. Alright, what do we get here? Ronnie's Dark Moon. Ooh. Obviously a spell, so we're never going to use it, but ooh. So this is the same, I guess, as, like, Renala's moon? I don't know if I have Renala's or not. I don't think I ever bought it, but... Alright. Legendary sorcery associated with the Carrion Queen. Uses the caster as a vessel to incarnate a cold, dark moon, then sends it floating towards foes. The dark moon dispels all sorcery that it touches and temporarily reduces magic damage negation for those it strikes. This moon was encountered by a young Rani... Led by the hand of her mother, Renala, what she beheld was cold, dark, and veiled in occult mystery. Very cool. The, uh, the interesting part about that is that it negates other sorceries. So it's like an anti-magic magic spell. Pretty cool. Again, I don't know how practical magic is in the late game, and if it's something that's usable, but... Look at that. There we have it. That is... What was this? Shalona's Rise. I've taken to checking the um, Sites of Grace for dialogue options. Once we're in new areas, just because that's what kept us from progressing the Ronnie questline, was missing the fact that there's just a dialogue option at a Site of Grace. Which I don't particularly like, but I will say the uh, of all of the things in this game to say is a weakness. If I were to give it to one thing, I would just say like the UI. It's like the only thing. 
things could be a lot more clear. Or if, like, for instance, right there with Ronnie, just to, just to talk about the Ronnie quest again, if it were to say, put the dialogue option at the top of the order, whereas instead it said, like, past time, level up, etc. Um, if instead it put the um, the dialogue option at the top, that would have been ideal. Personal opinion, of course. I believe we've explored the whole upper area here now. So I think today I want to continue slash complete the FIA quest. Yeah, continue slash complete that. Since now we've since now we've finished the Ronnie quest line. So we'd be heading right back here. To the Prince of Death's throne. And speak to Fia. There she is, dudes. Oh, hello. And because I worried that we would be... By giving the curse mark of death, which we got from the Ronnie quest line. Well, not from the Ronnie quest line, but it was from Rogier, but it belonged to Ronnie. I didn't want to complete this quest or continue this quest and then like not be able to finish the Ronnie quest line. This is the other Hallobrand. How did you Oh my utmost thanks. With this, Godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead. And claim a second, illustrious life. You are my, our, true champion. And though I can't be of any use to you, can I hold you tight? If only for a moment. Ooh. Radiant Baldekin's blessing. I will soon lay with Godwin. And it will surely stir within me the new life of the Golden Prince and first dead of the demigods as the rune of those who live in death. Please, do one thing for me. Brandish this child, my rune, and take for yourself the throne. Stay the persecution of those who live in death by becoming our Elden Lord. I will soon lay to conceive, brandish my rune, stay the by becoming. Okay. How do I brandish your rune? Alright, so we have the Radiant Baldekin's Blessing. This is... Let me get this out of my inventory. I don't know how long it takes for the Vitality or Vigor debuff to go away. Oh, it's whenever the Poise goes away too? Okay. So this one, so okay, so now we have the, um, with the Radiant Baldekin's Blessing, it looks like we have, um, an item that can temporarily boost poise without the Vigor debuff. Do you see we don't have the little red square with the down arrow on it anymore? Well, that was, um, I guess a bit of a disappointing climax to this. 
Um, but yeah, I guess now we'll be continuing... Um, through here. Now, this is Shabriri. Since we last talked to this guy, we've had a couple of interesting items come into our inventory. Uh, such as... Oh, where is it? Where is it? That's the key items, maybe? It was like... Yeah, we have a Shabriri Grape. But there was like a skull or something. Maybe it was a talisman. Might have been a talisman. Yeah, here it is. Shabriri's Woe. So he's like the birth of madness. And would -be lord descend into the depths far below the earth tree capital. Seek audience with the three fingers and the flame of frenzy. Yeah, so we we did descend deep below the Erd Tree capital. Not not talking about the deeper depths, but we went to the Cathedral of the Forsaken. And here we had unique dialogue with Melina at the Site of Grace. Which is no longer here because we've already had the conversation. But while we were down here, she was just like you know, I choose to do this my own. The fuck? Hi? Oh, I think this might be it. Look, they're all grasping their heads, like the madness. Oh yeah, and there's a little yellow stone here. This, this might be it. This could be the place. Yeah, they're all, they're all grasping their heads like they're overcome with madness. Frenzy Cookbook 2. Let's see what that gives us. Frenzy Flame Stone. Okay. This is a rock that we can throw that creates a madness buildup. I mean, sorry, not sorry, dude. I love that you're providing a nice ambience for us, but. Also have a red health bar, so. So I think we jump from here. Oh, okay. All right. Then we here. Here. down here though so we may have oh this is really interesting
Yeah, and I saw her just there. He tried to... Or he was about to... Like, grab his face and do, like, a madness... Thing. Oh my god, that hits so hard. What the fuck? For how fast that was? That hits so hard. Jesus. Oh great, my souls are on that little pedestal there. Alright. Sure, I guess. Could have left him alive for the ambience, I suppose. Oh, here we go again. Down we go. So there's got to be a spot here that we can get to. Maybe like across there. Yep. Now we jump down to here. Oh god damn it! Ah, oh, this fucking game. So when you are sitting still and you press the dash button or the dodge roll button, which you need to hold to sprint. You do a back step. Which I... When I turned to face the wall on that other one, I, instead of pressing it, I was holding forward and then pressed it so I would run toward the wall. Then I turned to jump with sprint. And I didn't do it there. Sadness. Pain. Etc. Well, at least I did get my souls, though. So that's nice. Is that loot? No, it's a candle. Okay. Let's see, how the fuck do I get that? I'm gonna leave these violin boys playing. I like the ambience from it. A lot. Well, that's. It was only 25,000 souls, but. God damn it. Platforming in Dark Souls. Ugh. Kind of you to leave them right there for me. Did I miss again? I did. Jesus Christ. Well, at least it's a short run. I don't think I'm trying to get all the way to the bottom there either. Oh, that's wrong. I think I'm like a one of the. Little coffin outcroppings is next to a pathway. Can just do this. I missed again. For fuck's sake, dude. This is so obnoxious. Alright, we're gonna have to like. I think I'm just like gonna jump and tap forward until I fall off. Oh my god. No, don't rest on the room. The things I do to spare Melina's life. At least I think that's what I'm doing. That's what all the context clues from the game is giving me so far. 
Because everything is saying, you must find kindling, you must find kindling, and she's like, I will light the Forge of Flames for you. Well, it's like, okay, well, that's, that's all fine and dandy, but I don't want you to die. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of these. I wonder if I make it to that one. I do. Nice. Right, and we're down here. 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 The loot we have. Inescapable frenzy. Oh, and hey. Did indeed find a pathway. That is loot. How do I get to you? How how do I get to you? I get on top? Fingerprints stone shield. This is better than my shield. At base level. Holy shit. Oh, it has shield bash too and not that fire thing. Also, it has an Ash of War slot, which means I can just remove the Ash of War that it has currently. And we can upgrade it to have higher... Oh, my God. Oh. What an item. Oh, yes. Uh, the only thing I need to do is... We'll probably trade out the Poise Talisman for the... There's one that increases... This one right here. Yep. Perfect. Increases our, increases our equip load by just enough. And then we can throw a couple more points of endurance. Because how heavy is this compared to the other one? This is 29 pounds, and this one was 24 pounds. Okay, so we probably need like two... Two, maybe three... Endurance levels. Hi. You don't seem to care that I'm here, so you do you, bud. Alright, we're at the ground floor. Oh, okay. Well. Dude. This is so good. I'm actually going to rest here, and we're going to head back to the... Oh, we talked to Lena. Yes. I ask you one more time. Please, seek not the frenzied flame. As one who strives to become a lord, deny not the lives, the new births of this world. Those who would are not fit to be called lord. When the land they preside over is lifeless. Please, put a stop to this madness. The Lord of Frenzied Flame is no lord at all. When the land they preside over is lifeless. Please, the Lord of when the land Ah <sighs> She sounds so distraught. Well, so Frenzied Flame Prescription. I'm going to head back here. We're going to try and upgrade the shield a bunch. Though I don't know if I have enough runes to do so. Because I kept fucking dying to fall damage. But we do have a good amount in the inventory. Well, I took you, Mama, to lay out your arms, then. 
I don't know why I expected this to take somber smithing stones. Alright, well let's go buy some smithing stones from the ladies. We have three left, I believe. So we'll need seven more. Because it takes four, then six. And then we'll take a look at the smithing stone twos as well, because we can buy infinite number of these. Again, by infinite I mean however many we have runes for. But the thing about upgrading shields is they don't always gain a guard boost per level. And that's what kept me from upgrading my shield for the longest time. And there you go, right there, guard boost of 82. And 83. Eighty-four. My runes again. <laughs> I don't have the runes to do this. I'm just gonna crack all the ones that I do have now. So we got it up to 85 guard boost. I have the smithing stones, I just need the runes to bring it up. Probably as high as close to my weapon, if not higher. Well, not higher. I can't go higher than my weapon because I'm choked on smithing stone 8s. But I can go all the way through smithing stone 7s. I should be good to go. So now we have a choice. Do we, do we take up the Frenzied Flame and save Melina? Or do we carry on through the snowfield and kill Melina? And honestly, I think I've kind of committed to this. I think we've kind of committed. I can't attack in here. What do? I'll answer that obviously, but what do heck? Can't interact with anything. I have a feeling they wouldn't put it in a illusory wall in an area that you can't attack. We have no conversation with Melina again. Alright, so let's head back and talk to Shibariri. And be like, hey, we found the door. What do? Maybe. Maybe this is the thing. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Burn the earth tree to the ground and incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, uh, make chaos! That was like his default dialogue option. Well, I suppose we continue exploring up this way for a bit. 
until we... I kind of want to go back to that little statue thing. See if we can get to the donjon. Just do that. Just get back to exploring a little bit. We've been doing really nothing but quests for a while now. Oh, but dude, this shield. Dude, I'm so excited about this shield. Of all the things for me to have found in that area, a shield is like numero uno for what I could be like, yeah, this is sick. Well, that seems cool. I'm definitely going across that. Where does this lead? Well, hold on. No, I'm not going across that. That seems like the right way to go. Well, shit. I hope that thing has handrails. I want to be real fucking upset when I fall off it. Or better yet, if Patches pushes me off of it. That would just be the worst. Oh, it is telling me to go that way. Well, all right. I heard you, birdie. Well, I see a scarab over here. Let's head up this way first. Let's see what's happening over here. It does seem to just be a teardrop scarab. Well, they're all teardrop scarabs, but... It does just seem to be a... health potion one. time it is. We must commence with the killing. Oh, there's a thick boy down there, too. Last time we fought one of those big boys, he dropped a weapon for us. And that was pretty sick. I think I kind of want to sneak past these guys. Start from the other side and work my way in. Briars of Punishment. Like a spell of some sort. Well, did he detect me? Does he know I am here? I think he may have heard them die. Oh, look at that weapon. It's like a thorn whip. He doesn't know I'm here. What a loser. Oh, give me that back, boy. Oh, just kidding. Yeah. Blood loss buildup is understandable. Ow. Alright, he should have fucking not. Okay, I need you 
want you to really not. Okay. Yeah, if Elden Ring isn't just delayed attacks the video game, I don't know what it is. weapons on fire now. Oh, dude, he's still spewing fire out of his head. That's awesome. Dude, his poise is insane. Jesus. What an enemy. Didn't even drop his whip. What a bitch. Oh boy. An Arteria leaf. Well, alright. Off we go. I'm just gonna take my time across this area. Rather than try to gallivant across on Torrent. Though I think this may be detrimental to me, because I do see a uh, I do see a golem archer in the distance. Ah, oh, dude, this is so cool. Yeah, it's just going across the Great Wall. Or is that a golem or is that an actual giant? So I think we're like this is called, like, the Land of Giants. This seems like bait, but I'm going for it. Lost Ashes of War, and... Small Green Butterflies. Yep, there's the Golem Archer. here. Post up. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god, we blocked so much damage. Drawstring, holy grease. Get up. Alright. Well, we made it across without getting shot off the bridge. So that's nice. Next time I find a bonfire, we need to go back to the round table and keep upgrading this shield. So I'm still in Smithing Stone 4 territory, and I can go all the way up to 7. 13. Alright. Dude. Oh, look at that chain. Is that a chain? That's a chain leading up to this castle thing. Oh, look at that skeleton! I didn't even realize that's what that was for a second. Yeah, it's like a, like a skull and the chest. Oh my god. It's incredible. What an astounding view.
Somberstone 8. Nice. Soft cotton. Now there's a fucking useless item. I used to think that item would be so good. But I think it works quite similarly to the cat talisman, where it doesn't matter if, if you would die, you still just die. It can't reduce you past the kill floor. Hey. Light of Grace. Alright, no dialogue with Melina. Now that we're at this Lost Grace, we can go back to the table. Ah. Only slightly cool tea. Well, I took you, my man, to lay out your own. Oh, we're up to eighty six guard boost now. Seven. We'll go up to 88 on the next one. Ugh. Can I just sell some garbage? It's like stuff that I just have a million of. Repeat items, like I don't need multiples of those. I'll need these. I am trying to hold on to just like unique weapons. There's a whole bunch of these things that just aren't. Still need like 600. Barricade shield is nerfed. I should probably hold on to it. That can absolutely go. Oh my god. 88 guard boost. Nuts. Shield is cracked. Alright. Well, back we go. So we do also have the Volcano Manor thing that's trying to tell us to go kill... Uh, the dude. That's the little red marker to our top left. Over here. Juno Hoslo. That is the, uh, that's the guy from the round table. Whose quest took us up here. So I wonder if we'll have, like, a dialogue option where we can, like, fight against the Volcano Manor with him. Or something. Because I joined the Volcano Manor thinking that was the only way to go around and explore it. But I'm glad I did, because I got the sick armor that has a bajillion poise and really good stats. Really good defensive stats. The poise is really the big thing, though. But the defenses on it are quite good. It is I, 
Matena, we're almost there. Castle Sol lies just off to the north, where the other medallion is housed. It will grant passage to the land of the Halo Tree. Just to the north? Okay, so in this castle here is the other piece. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. So let me, I mean, we're going to this place regardless, but I'm just going to leave a little quest marker mark on it. So it wouldn't surprise me if I came down here to fight this thing and there were multiple archers, like one on each side of the, like the valley, to shoot inward at us. That seemed like a very souls thing to do. There's demi-humans over there. Interesting little zone. Wait, how much did that hit me for? Dude, the shield is broken. I'm taking like no damage to my stamina. Block everything. I'm invincible. Do that. What? Demi humans that don't die in one hit. Dude, if I have this much guard boost. Oh. There we go. I can probably just take off that talisman then. And put on something different. Which I like had the poise one, for example, that was really good. Um, or maybe you could finally use this. I actually kind of want to try that. I think stamina recovery speed would work out really well with this actually, because like now I can probably just hold my shield up all the time. All right, I want to test it and see how much harder this guy hits me through without the talisman equipped. Oh, that's actually quite substantial. Okay, so is this talisman actually cracked? Let's hot swap it back on. test it again. Okay, yeah, no, this talisman's just cracked. Alright, cool. Okay, well now I know. 
I see a tree though. I see a little golden tree. Which means we get a seed. I only need three more now. For another flask, I believe. I'm pretty sick. I need to find more churches. I don't know what the um I don't know what the sacred tears cap at. still blown away by how little stamina it takes me to block right now. Oh, I wonder if I can take this and this off and not need to use this. I can. wonder if I can lean on my torch. Can. So it's just the dagger that's a bit much. I literally never use this thing. I would maybe consider using it on a boss, in which case I can take off the torch, maybe? If I unequip the torch, can I use the dagger? No, oh, it still puts me in heavy load. Okay. So we're, like, right at the cusp of medium load here. Which is fine. <sighs> Looks like another bonfire up top to the left. Oh, really? I didn't notice it. Fuck, I gotta come back here and fight this thing again. But being able to use the stamina recovery thing should be incredibly nice. So I can just hold up my shield indefinitely and just have my stamina regen through it. That would be phenomenal. Okay, again, we check for more dialogue with Melina. No dialogue with Melina. So we're going to head back to the round table hold. And upgrade our shield again. Because we are encroaching ever closer to having it fully upgraded. Well, not fully upgraded, but as far as I can get it. Well, I took you for about to lay out your own. There we go. And now we are 89 guard boosts. So I have a I have a theory. And you know what? I think I'm just gonna look it up. Because it does it never truly tells you in the uh, in the effect how much guard boost it gives. I'm just gonna look it up real fast. Let's see. How much guard boost does Great Shield Talisman give? Uh, Talisman multiplies your guard boost rating by 1.1. So if I have 89 guard boost right now... Uh-oh. Did I crash my game? I don't think I did. It just minimized. It may have crashed, though. Oh, no. No, we're good. Okay. So... 97.9 guard boost at the moment. We have almost 100% guard boost, which is, I, I believe it's a percentage. So we, we're blocking 98% of damage, or 98% of stamina reduction from from my blocking. Because like how guard boost works is it's like when you get hit, it, like let's say you have a 50% guard, or a guard boost of 50. If you get hit, the shield will absorb 50% of the damage taken, 
and your stamina will take 50% of the damage. So currently, our shield is absorbing 98% of the damage taken, and we're taking 2% of it to our stamina. That's insane. The shield is dumb. This talisman is more dumb, though. Alright. I need this guy to swing on this statue here. Line of sight, bitch. Alright, come here. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Let me throw something at you. I missed. I want to block this. Yeah, so we still take the damage from the fire because it's bleeding through, but... There we go. Spinning Stone 7x3. And that's what we needed to... Upgrade. Fuck, I didn't get my shield out in time. But what I really need right now is Sacred Tears. I'm getting way too greedy against this guy. thing. I just didn't quite get my shield up in time. But we got the spinning stones we needed, so I suppose I can't complain. Right back to the round table I go. If I can get the guard boost on this to 90, we absorb, I, I believe, mathematically, we would absorb 100% of damage. Well, no, it'd be 99. But still, that is good enough for me. Alright, so back we go. Polar opposite side of the map. For now, at least. I don't know, I don't know if the map continues to expand further to the right or not. I don't want to know until I find out. Well, I took you, my man. Try out your own. Alright, so these two are at equivalent levels now. That is fantastic. I think we're done. We, like, we're obviously done going back to the round table for a while. Because we don't have... Alright, let's see what's going on here. I bet you there's a dragon in this lake. I'm willing to bet you there's a dragon in this lake. It's a frozen lake. Up over the ridge there, you can see the castle. To the north, that's where we'll get the other half of the medallion, so that we can go up to the Haley tree. Dude, this place is so sick. Like, look at this, this little tower here, and in the distance you can see that, I don't know what that is. It looks like some sort of a giant bowl with a chain attached to it on the side. Oh my god, this place looks so dope. There's also a an Ash of War Scarab over here. What is that? Oh, it's just a deer. Or a sheep or something. 
I'm willing to bet. Ash of War Seppuku? No way. No way you can Sudoku in this game. Seppuku, a forbidden technique used by swordsmen from the land of reeds, plunge the blade into your stomach and stain it with blood, increases attack power and improves the ability to inflict blood loss. Useful on swords as well as pole arms capable of thrusting. That's amazing. Truly sensational. Now oh, a jellyfish. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Hold it. Oh, hello there. <sighs> it's cold. Thanks for that. He doesn't have any eyes. Oh, dude, that cold air travels so fast. It's like way faster than Fire Breath does. I just need to like try and block it because it goes so quickly. Okay, I get it. Frostbite. Alright, stamina recovers more slowly now. Frostbite's over, so that's nice. How's that going for me? Just hit him in the face. Oh, okay, barely managed to outrun at that time. Started sprinting immediately. Here a little bit. I'm horse. This is fine. Got him. Oh Jesus! Jesus! He did it twice. Yeah, you cute. Set the bug down. Ooh. 100,000 souls. Let's go.
and a new draconic power available. Not bad. Not bad. But to be honest, the stamina increasing... The stamina regen doesn't even seem that relevant to me anymore. Because we're not losing any stamina from blocking. So I almost feel like just having extra defenses or stats or something else, really, would just be better. Like the poise or... I don't know. Crits on HP again. Something of that nature. Hard counter enhancements are also really nice for this build. Could also just go for something like the like this one, just increase my strength by a bunch. Or HP. That's about like a hundred extra HP. That'd be pretty good. I think I'm gonna go with Enhancing guard counters again. It's not the most universally applicable, like stamina regeneration or something like that would be, but might not be bad. Oh yeah, we are off the map. Oh, there it is right there. Alright. Fantastic. Fuck that tumbleweed in particular. Now, it's it's occurring to me now, church, that I didn't find that dungeon entrance from the statue back here. Uh, this one? It's like pointing up this way, but I guess it would maybe be against the wall right here. Either that, or it's like all the way across here, and it's somewhere around here. So I kind of want to go back and check that out after we get the map of this area. Somber Stone Miner's Bell Bearing. The first Church of America. The first one? We've made it. A Sacred Tear. Oh, sacred Tear is just what I was after. Because I've. I literally said earlier today, like. Oh, we can talk to Millionaire. Alright, well, let's do this first before I forget. Increase the amount replenished. Oh. 527 gold. I would have to log on. I can't do that right now. If you're okay waiting until... A bit after 3, Spoken sure. Echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? Yeah, I'm interested. Let's go. In Marika's own words, Hark, brave warriors. Hark, my Lord Godfrey. We commend your deeds. Guidance hath delivered ye through each ordeal to the place ye stand. Put the giants to the sword and confine the flame atop the mount. Let a new epoch begin. An epoch glistening with life. Brandish. The Elden Ring, for the age of the Erd Tree. We're almost there. The Flame of Ruin lies just ahead. I'm glad it was you I traveled with. I must tender my thanks to Torrent, too. Thank you, Torrent. Please continue to lend your aid. Till the end. Well, all right. I like how if you alter any armaments, it just takes the cape off. I don't think I like that. I like a lot of the armor with cloaks. Looks good to me. Do I have enough runes to level? I doubt it. I don't even have any to pop. Incredible. I've used every single one of them in my inventory to level up this shield. 
I think we need about 120,000 in order to level up. Since we just found a bonfire here, I am going to head back over to here, to this way. Just to check um, around like this area for the dungeon entrance. Please allow me to remove these. Um, yeah, we'll head back down that way for now. Also, I want to see if Shibriri has anything new to say. Since we keep getting closer and closer to this flame of ruin. Chosen tarnish, ascend into seek audience with the three fingers. Yeah, okay. Burn and may chaos. Yeah, chaos take the world. Yeah. So this thing is we found the area that's in. I just can't open the door. I fully intended to do so. I couldn't open the door. That's where I found the shield. This magnificent, glorious shield. Hello, Birdo. Goodbye, Birdie. Alright. Bird's still following me. I hear it flapping around, but I don't see it, so I'm going to assume that it's gone. And I think our dungeon entrance might be down there. Correct. As usual, of course. Giant's Mountaintop Catacombs. Lovely. The beast Eye Quivers? Oh, fantastic. That's a, uh... That's a death route. We can take that to Garank. Alright, so we'll just rest here. We shall chillax. Interesting. Hi there. Look at him go. Adorable. Just adorable. He thinks he can deal damage to me. Look at you, you also think you can deal damage to me. Oh, the curse of just being so grotesquely... grotesquely thick. Oh yeah. So good. Very Blood Wart 7. Alright. Don't we go? Oh, you actually got me. Look at you. Keeping an eye on the path behind me to see if it, there's like a ledge. Yep, that we can jump onto. 
Well, there is, but there's nothing up here. Okay, well. There's a the ledge. Though it serves no purpose. Fair enough. Alright, there's the door. But we have to find the lever still. I don't know how I feel about this guard counter talisman, because it's just only really helps me against enemies that I'm already very good against. So I almost just want to use a different one of these to give just raw stats. Or defensives. Something like this one would be really good, though it does put us at heavy load. I think I'll go with the strength one. Of course you throw magic bombs. Why wouldn't you? Oh, what did you drop? Imped Fanged. Let's take a peek see at this one. I, I doubt we ever wind up using it, but I just want to see. Imped Fanged. Gives strength. Increase strength of two. Head covering made largely of an altered head of an ambush golem resembling a fanged demon holds trace amounts of bestial strength. Nice. Thought I heard something shuffling around on the left over there. And maybe there might be a wall here. An illusory wall. Of course there is a wall there. I see chains. There's an elevator going down again, huh? Bye, Felicia. Ooh, 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 ooh. Long drop. But again, we're going to keep an eye behind us for a possible path. I just realized I didn't have this out. It seems like a like an astoundingly straightforward dungeon. Oh, hey, a jar. Ah. This is weird. That's the first random thing that hasn't been... Ha <laughs> ha there we go. That's what I was looking for. Something like this. Dude, it does no damage to our stamina. I'm literally invincible now. That's incredible. Oh, this is not the end of the dungeon. Okay. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. I saw the statue and I was like, oh, there's the lever. We're done. There's no lever there. Nay, nay. Ooh, two hits and frostbite. Damn! I wanted to get on top of it. Even though I can clearly see there's nothing up here. Still kind of cool. Oh, he jumped behind me. What a fucker. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Why is there a chair in front of this? There's a chair in front of this one too. 
have so many questions. You're rot, aren't you? Ah, oh, you're poison. Get me out, holy shit. So obnoxious. Unnecessary criticals, but we do them nonetheless. I didn't burn away the poison. Very sad. I love the two handing this weapon. Like, it, it, the way it feels when you two hand the weapon it feels really nice. Perhaps it had some other effect. Oh, hello! Feels really nice. Ritual pot? Fuck yeah. I should start doing something with my ritual pot. Materials stimulating boluses. Uh, based on the color, I believe that removes sleep buildup. All right, and uh, yeah, we have a little path. Let's see where it goes. Oh, is this right above the statue? It is. It's just the nascent butterfly, though. like I've missed the lever somewhere. Which is not great. Well, I went up to the left there, but this is where I came in at. You know what? Understandable. Have a nice day. the wall you're back wait why are these back oh fucker the pot's back too no oh, this is a different area I thought it was the same area but no this is a different spot the second one of these dungeons that I've come to that has like these jars and it feels like you're in the same areas but it's literally it's led you somewhere else like, this looks the same feels the same as other areas oh there's a big one
Okay. Don't have any mana left. Alright. Oh, we'll trap there. Got him. Fucking got him. I love his little traps. And he was defending nothing but a Grave Glove Ward 7. There's another jump down right there. Oops. I need to step on that. But I did. Well, let's hop down here and see where it leads us. Alright. Little ledges. We're going down quite far. And we are right back here. fucking game. This fucking game's too good. Hello, Jarboy. And there it is. We have acquired lever technology. <laughs> okay. Oh, dude, look at the blood spray. We go. Oh, I love that we found a helmet that has a beard on it. Though I do hate the stupid little horn on top of the head. Love that we have a beard hat. Mm -mm -mm. We're just going straight in. I give a fuck. Let's do this. Oh, hell yeah. Imagine taking damage to your stamina when you block. Must truly be terrible. Oh, oh, might be dead. Nope, not dead. Okay. I'll take that hit. I deserve it. I, I walked in here, talk shit, got hit. That's how it works. You have to dodge that. Oh, he moved out of my hit. What a dick. I do love these fights. These tree spirits are really cool. All certain tree spirits. I'm gonna dodge through that so I don't get knocked away and finish him off. Boom. Love War Picker's Bell Bearing 2.
Hell yeah, death root. Death root. Fuck yeah. Alright, let's head back. There we go. Feels good. Feels real good. It is level up time, my dudes. Ah, our stamina is capped. Yeah, look at that. Very interesting. We can still keep acquiring equip load, but I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Damage seems to be going up fine. Just fine. Okay, just more... More... Vigor. Feels nice. Alright. I am going to head back to the... Round table, and then we're going to come back to the First Church of America. And go from there. Actually, we're probably not going back to the First Church of America. We're probably going to the castle. And I'm just coming here to turn in these bell bearings. I have two of them now. And maybe talk to Gideon. Mm. He doesn't have anything to tell me. Alright, cool. So now I can perch up to Somber plus six. Actually, no, I can go three, four, five, and six. I do not have one and two. And then I have one through six of regular smithing stones. And I have all the way up to Ghost Glove Wart six. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. I don't think I need to talk to the blacksmith about anything, but double check. Also gotta change out my great rune. I'm gonna take a peek see over here too. See if this door is open. It is not. We continued Fia's quest, I didn't know if. Speaking of Fia, is she still marked on the map over here? She is. She's still there. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Figured she'd be gone by now. The quest was continuing. Okay. I do want to take a quick look through a few of my items here and see if there's anything that I might be interested in using that doesn't change my equip load and that I can maybe use for... Um... Yeah, this is good strength scaling. And just a weapon that I can upgrade with somber stones. That doesn't put me at heavy load. It's a 20 dex requirement, which I don't have that. 19 dex and 17 arcane. No, not really. Yeah, all these great swords and such are going to put me into heavy load as well. Though the Death's Poker doesn't, which is interesting. It's quite light by comparison to the others. And fortunately, all of these like unique swords that have like cool effects and things like that, you can't uh, place an Ash of War on. So you can't change their scalings. Which is a bit unfortunate. Like this Flame Burst, for example, would be really nice to use. But it does put us into heavy load. And I don't want to be putting any more points into Endurance if I don't have to. 
since it's just equip load that we're gaining now. Yeah, so I guess we're I guess we're just kind of big chilling. Hammer and Morning Star would be one, but really this Nox Flowing Hammer is the only one that's like even comparable. And we've already upgraded it. Okay. All right. Guess we're getting right back to it, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna change out my Ash of War. For not Ash of War. Well, Ashes of War on this actually, I'm going to remove, and I'm gonna put no skill on. And I don't think changing the well, changing it to heavy reduces the guard boost. That is interesting. Yeah, we'll just leave it at standard. And then for this Ash of War, now I can actually use abilities. Which is interesting. So, let's take a... Can I read the descriptions of these or no? Golden Slam. Dude. Holy shit, look at that blood loss build up, 197? Gives an arcane scaling, though. I kind of want to try it. Oh, so if we change it to blood, it changes the overall scaling? Okay, so let's look at this. It says 235-205 versus 279-203. But it gains blood loss buildup. I want to try it. I want to try it. I want to try it. Because blood loss is really powerful against a lot of enemies. Um, there's a few that it doesn't work on. But for the amount of damage that we're losing, it's not that big. It was like an extra, it was like what? 50 to 60 dam uh, damage per swing? It's really not that bad. All right, so I'm gonna come back to the Snow Valley Ruins here. We're gonna go up and to the left. And we're gonna go see about Juno there. Yeah, so we're gonna go this way. And once we get to the ice river, we're gonna go to the left. Juno Hoslo. Yeah, there's also this like camp of demi humans here. Oh, I do love the spray from the blood loss build up too. So good. Also, we do have a talisman that we could use in place of something else. Um, it's like the strength one, for example. It says increases damage. Yeah, blood loss in vicinity increases attack power. So we could try using that as well. Um, again, that seems like it'd be more of an all purpose. Maybe not against bosses. This is kind of a bit harder to build up blood loss against bosses. Or 
Because there's bats fighting against any humans here. What the fuck does that sound? What the fuck does that sound? Dude, those screeches hit really hard. Oh, I also get to try out this ability, too. Well, I didn't go very far. It's not that much damage. It's about 300 damage. On the blood blade. Those bats had, like, coloration on their wings. Oh, I didn't change out my great room, like I said I was going to. Actually, kind of fine. We'll leave it as this for now. Should have definitely used it before I started fighting all these guys, but... What are you gonna do? Alright, so it says Hoslo is, like, right here. Yeah. I want to see what's going on over here, though. It's a shack with no, uh... Shack of the Lofty. Traveling Maiden's Garb. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, there's a Spirit Spring Lift over there. Alright. I suppose we gotta go and fade Juno, huh? Night of Blood. Hoslow's Oak. He's like disappearing from in front of me. But I've bled him more than he's bled me, so. Goodbye, Juno Hoslow. Oh, it turns off your rune arc when you invade people. I didn't realize. That's nice that I got a rune arc back, because I literally just used one. Oh, but it's back on now. Alright, Hoslow's Pedal Whip. Helm, Armor, Gauntlet, Screeves. Alrighty. Let's take a look. I doubt this whip. This whip is highly dex-based, I guarantee it. Yeah, 20 dex. Well, 20 is not that high, actually. If I use the dex talisman, I could use it. Metal whip formed from razor sharp chain link blades that had the appearance of flower petals. This work of art is handed down through generations of the illustrious House Oslo. High dexterity is required to wield this weapon, but it excels at inflicting devastating blood loss. The tale of House Oslo is told in blood. It's a cake as a skill. I didn't expect cake, I expected whatever like teleporty move he was doing. Though I think Oh, really? If you two-hand the whip, it gives you... I, could have... I would have put money on it, giving you two of them when you equip it. Oh. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. And let's take a look at this 
gear. Okay. Oh, Juno Hoslo was not the guy. All right. So, twin-tailed silver helm decorated with flowery adornments, symbol of the head of the revered house of Hoslo. Juno Hoslo had a number had a younger brother who was all talk and no trousers. His inability to commit to an action was such that Juno inherited the house Hoslo legacy without resistance, granting him freedom to show to shower his little brother with adoration. And Garnish silver armor, blah, 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 blah. When Juno Hoslo received an invitation to the Volcano Manor, he discreetly refused. I've already walked many a road drenched in blood, yet never would I consider myself a champion. Oh, so there's like a story that goes with these clothes. Or this armor. When Okay, that's the same one. And pants are the same as well. Okay. Cool, cool. Well, there we have it. All right, we have invaded and felled Juno Hoslo. Warming stone, invigorating white cured meat. All right, let's take a leap up here and see where we go. All right, well, immediately we see nasa butterflies. So if I head back to the Volcano Manor and I talk to the dude, I wonder what happens. Oh, hey, a merchant. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, hello. Is someone custom well? Missionary's cookbook, we take. Insta. Oh, and this has the Vagabond's armor. So this, this is the armor that the Vagabond starts with. Fall frost boluses. Alleviating frost buildup. And let's see what that cookbook added for us. So this was Missionary Cookbook 7 is rejuvenating boluses. Which is something I don't have the materials for. Oh, it's right there. It's the death build-up ones. Ooh. It's pretty good. Ugh. We're so choked on Crystal Cave Moss, though. It's really rough. And there's the Light of Grace right down there. Who would have thought? Who would have thought Merchant Bro was chilling up here? to the bridge over here? It's looking like we might. Oh shit, yeah we are. Oh shit, yeah we are. Soon, TM. There's a ruin over here I need to go through. Stargazer's Ruins. Bats are much weaker than the ones that were down there. We have summons available here too. Which gives me some hope this area might be challenging or even possibly contain a boss fight. Some nascent butterfly. Signal nascent butterfly. And what have we got going on here? this jellyfish talking to me. I 
hear very heavy footsteps. I think it's just the giant down there, maybe. Held shut by a seal. Hey, Luna. Good morning. Well, I suppose it's afternoon here now. Oh, I don't want to hit the jellyfish because I don't want it to break whatever's happening, but... How are you doing today? You watched the playthrough of a totally not FE FE game? Oh, was it? Which one of the sagas was it? <laughs> Vissaria Saga or. Berwick Saga? Tearing Saga? Okay. I feel like you may have mentioned that game the other day. You mentioned a character from it? That might have been it. Ah, I know tons of people who really enjoy the the Kaga gameplay. It might have been Naron. Yeah, you I think it was in mention of um Donald. Oh you oh my god. Donald slash Mozu. And other est style characters. Oh, fuck, dude, these bats hurt. Why do I have my two hand? Why am I two handed this weapon? There we go. It's got a lot of bullshit. Uh, it's, it's Kaga for you. <laughs> I do not know what the Latena event is. Examine the grave. Here lie Aurelia and Aureliette, who never saw the stars. Oh. Sad. Kind of like, uh, kind of like getting Kaze to support with uh, Corin before a specific time in Birthright, or he dies. It's not just it's not just Kaga that does it. Much worse. Fair enough. Don't shut by a seal. Like I don't want to attack the jellyfish, but I don't. I don't know if that's the right. I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not. So we've we've learned the name by going to the grave down here, which is Aurelia and Aureliette. Can't interact with these things. Hmm. It's a good translation patch for play. I mean, I'm not opposed to trying other games outside of Fire Emblem, but there are still quite a few games in the series that I haven't played. Yeah, I'm very aware that the 
the Kaga Saga games are maybe not identical, but very close to Fire Emblem in terms of gameplay. Oh, I imagine so. Nintendo's very protective of their stuff. Alright, I'm gonna hit the jellyfish. Still held shut by a seal. Oh dear. Well, it is unfortunate. And now it might be locked forever. Who knows? A lot of interesting mechanics, aka random bullshit. Yeah, I mean, that's how it goes sometimes. Freezing griefs. <sighs> so, are you actually playing it, or were you watching? Just watching? Okay. Well, it's all replaced by a seal. I have no fucking idea what to do about it. So I guess we'll just move on. And maybe come back to this later. If we ever figure it out. It's like Gaiden and Echoes, two simultaneous rounds. Alright, we'll leave a little quest marker here. Maybe we'll come back to it. See, I like the way they did... Um, I haven't played Echoes. Or... I, like, I haven't played SOV or Gaiden. Oh, hell yeah, dude. But I know in FE8, I really liked the fact that it was the same route, just two different sides of the same story, right? What I don't like is, the most anyway, is Three Houses' way of doing it, where it's like, here's three different or four different routes. And they're all trying to tell the same story in a different way. It's like that I wasn't a big fan of. And still I'm not a big fan of, but I love the game. I love the gameplay of Three Houses. Ow. I'm not blocking, I might as well be two handed, right? There we go. There's epilogues for everyone. Sorry. Nice. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, it's good to it's good that games have characterization. Like I find that quite excellent. What are these piles? What is this? Is this a rock? Okay. Get more of these things. Oh, 
Hell yeah, dude. Oh, this is sick. Alright, now where's the... Where's the guy controlling these? I hear it. I hear the horn. There you are. Oh. I was just a mini boss now. Not even an actual boss anymore. Ow. Pain. Big damage. Okay. Health and steeple. Alright. They have long cutscenes that last like two hours? That's a lot. One of the two lords is basically Claude. Long before Claude. Nice. Alright, health and steeple. It's got ruinous ghost flame. Interesting. It's a magic sword with an int scaling. Shocking. Great Soren patterned after the black steeple of the Helfen. The lamp wood, which guides the dead to the spirit world. The lamplight is similar to grace in appearance, only it is said that can only be seen by those who met their death in battle. Unique skill, Ruinous Ghost Flame. Swing the sword to bathe this blade in Ghost Flame. Ghost Flames add magic damage to attacks, but also and also has a bitterly cold bite. Let's take a look, see what this looks like. I love the look of the blade. Oh, that little red thing at the very end of it, too? Looks real nice. You said the other's a Marth clone? Game came out the year you were born. 2001. Nice. Very nice. Well, now all the Skeletrons are gone, we can explore stuff. Oh dude, when things randomly die while I have this rune on and I get the healing from it as well, it spooks me sometimes. Oh hi. Well, hello. Ah, ramble away. Oh, they do. All I do is ramble most days. Stuff just keeps dying around me. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I am going to rest here. I'm just going to respawn all the stuff I just killed, but... I have to check... Every time we get to a bonfire in this area to see if I have new dialogue with Melina. You hiss at me all you want. Ain't gonna save you. Now, there are a lot of skeletons around here. Lot, lot, lot of skeletons. Stimulating Bailuses. Greeting, citizen.
idiots. Oh, they could challenge me. I think not. There you are. It's like I knew there was a crossbow somewhere. There's the castle. Ooh, there is the castle, baby. Oh, that's gonna be so much fun to explore. I'm excited. I don't know how we're getting there. We will eventually. Nailed it. That is one thing I haven't really gotten used to with the twin blade is even even after having used it for so long um, is jumping attacks the range on the jumping attacks it does this downward stab and on my two-handed character for example majority of those weapons do like a little slam downward or slam forward oh you have large amounts of HP ow that little stagger you did actually kind of sucked to deal with. Uh, this guy was tough. Much tougher than the others were. And this is an example of an enemy type that is not susceptible to bleeding. So my regular weapon would have been better overall. But where bleed really truly shines is against like mini bosses and bosses where you can take off, like, large chunks of their health. Um, basically for free. Depending on the enemy, of course. There are some enemies, like Crucible Knights and things like that, that have very small openings for you to take advantage of. Um, and that are quite robust to bleed damage that it's hard to get the build up. And then there are some enemies like ghosts, spirits, and skeletrons that are just flat out immune to it. So, got that going for them as well. I wonder if one of these jellyfish is a spirit. Look at all this. There's so many little spirit animals over here. Hey, and that has led me to something fun. Let's see what we got here. There's two stone sword keys to open. Hell yeah, dude. Get me in there. Boop, boop. And what do we have here? Spirit Collar Cave. Hell yeah, brother. Well, let's take a look around, shall we? Hmm. 
regular game. This fucking game, I swear to God. teaching me how the mechanics of the dungeon work. Kill the snail, kill the spirits. Crystal cave boss. I was just lamenting the fact that it was regular cave boss that we found, not that Grass the shield. Thank you, Tenor. Thank you. This thing is broken. It is very, very broken. There you are. Oh, shit. You're not all linked to the same one. Okay. Ah! Where is it? There he is. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so I upgraded it to plus 22. So we have 89 guard boost from the shield. And in conjunction with the Great Shield Talisman, I have, uh, I looked up what the Great Shield Talisman does because it's very ambiguous in the description. Uh, it multiplies your guard boost by 1.1. So we have nine, about 98% guard boost at the moment. So I'm taking 2% damage to stamina when I block. It's really dumb. It's like really, really dumb. I blocked one of those, like, you know, those Iron Colossi? With the... I don't know, like the weak ankles and stuff. I, I don't know what the actual name of them is called. Uh, I ate one of the big slammy attacks from those and my stamina went down like nothing. Godskin Apostle. Yeah, watch this. Look, look at my stamina. <laughs> Zero damage to my stamina. I'm like invincible with my shield up. It's incredible. It's actually so broken. <laughs> exactly, it's so broken. It's it's nuts. <laughs> this is what it's all about, baby. Moveset. We fought one of these in the, um, the tower, the Divine Tower in Kaled. waiting for it. I was like, this music didn't end. Immune to physical? Basically, yeah. I mean, if I have my shield up, yes. But, I have to lower my shield to attack. So, I still have to not play like a complete and utter mongoloid. So. 
Now this guy's annoying because I can't really guard counter him. His range is so long. Fine, I will be over here. Cast him a little healy dealy. What is really nice is that I don't have to really worry about my stamina too much now when attacking. Let's me be a lot more aggressive, though, which is nice. Because I don't really have to worry about my stamina when defending. Which is super nice. Oh, you fuck. Godskin Nobles definitely way harder than the Godskin Apostles to fight. Are you serious? Bruh. I feel cheesed. Where's the hole on the ground? There it is. Down we go. Oi! Fuck off. Now oh, my great rune's not active either. Oh, they seem to be spirits as well, which is annoying. Because I just switched my weapon to a bleed. Uh, Art of War. I'm just sprinting through. Like, I know the wolves are gonna be spooky. 
especially if I get stopped, but I'm just going. Just going. guys are spirits, so it's like... Okay, I just switched my weapon to bleed, and now I'm fighting bosses that can't be bled. fair though. When I first fought this guy, I was fully able to block everything that he did. Though I did just have to have more concern for my stamina. Oh, my souls. I'll spawn over here. Fat boy. Give me that belly, fat boy. At least if I get hit by it, he stops. For fuck's sake. Such an annoying boss. I'm just gonna block. Yeah, I'm not gonna try and fuck around with that attack at all. It's way too hard. Music still hasn't stopped. Okay. That's it, right? Cool. Alright, so this is a talisman. I, I remembered to look at the symbol for the first time in forever. Remember to look at the symbol. Godskin swaddling cloth and a spell. Black flame ritual. Alright. Well, let's take a look at the tallies, man. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's much easier the second time around. There we have. Successive attacks restore HP. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So it could be good against enemies where they have, like, big openings, for example, where it's just like, okay, they're really relentless, really relentless. And then, thank you, thank you, yes. It's, it's, a, it's a big step that I'm taking. Uh to finally remember to look at item things. Um, it's like they're super relentless, and then they have like a big opening afterward, and you can get like a bunch of hits in back to back to back. This could be really good against. Quite similar to the Crimson Dagger, for example. If you can stagger something really easily or get behind them really easily, you get a lot of healing from that. So it doesn't necessarily seem super all-purpose, but it'd be pretty good. It'd be pretty good. We got 
think somewhere around 70 or 80,000 souls for that. So, dude, welcome, welcome. Great to see ya. Need to level up this vigor again. Ah, yeah. Yep, I did find it today. I literally, because I was just talking to myself, and I was like, this is the area we were supposed to be at. Or this is the area that it seems like we were supposed to be at, blah 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 blah. And while I was talking, and while while I was talking, I just bumped into the altar and it moved, and I was like, "Oh shit, okay, yeah, no, I've already leveled it up to plus twenty-two, and the guard boost is at eighty-nine." And I looked up what the Great Shield Talisman does. It multiplies your guard boost by 1.1. So I currently have 98% damage reduction to my stamina while blocking. I'm basically invincible when I hold my shield up to physical damage. It's real fucking dumb. <laughs> Alright, I'm still trying to figure out how to get down to this castle safely. We could just jump off the cliff, but it looks like maybe down here there's a pathway. So we just meander down this way and come around there. That's where we're at. Alright, this is the stronger guy. Excuse me. Did I find a sister? Um, I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, I mean, it's fine. I don't know what he means, so it can't really spoil me. Because I have no idea what he's talking about. Yeah, I found... Oh, okay, so, yes, the... Oh, so these are the ruins, is where I was at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at the ruins, I found the... There's the jellyfish that was talking. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Nice. Um... I think the ruins were down here? I think that's what those were? But I found the, um... No, that's not those ruins. That was these ruins here. So Yeah, I heard the I heard the mausoleum, went to the ruins, there's a talking jellyfish and the sealed door. And I went down and around the Are you back? No. I thought it was a mini boss. I thought for sure he wouldn't respawn. Oh hi. Nice spawn animation, bro. Ah, can you not hit behind my shield? Yeah, there's, there's a talking jellyfish in the ruins. Um, but watch my stamina here. When I get hit by this guy. Oh, well, he didn't hit me. Okay, I didn't block. Okay, you are obnoxious. Got it. Dude, he's just hitting behind my shield constantly. Can you stop? What the fuck? Okay, I'm dead. Cool. <laughs> yeah, he's got me, uh... He's got me all figured out. That's alright, we got him. I think the, the issue was that I was locked onto his face. How did I manage the 20 pounds from the shield? 
Well, my other shield was already 24 pounds. This one's like 29. I just unequipped my other dagger. I see. 24, 29. Um. Oh, you're already respawning, huh? Shield up in time that time. Feels good. Okay. Seems pretty, pretty straightforward. And anytime I'm directly beneath him, he seems to just peck at my face. Oh shit, that's a grab. Oh god. That was really fast too, holy shit. Yeah, locking onto his head seemed to be... A really bad idea. Because he kept turning me around every time he moved. Okay. It's just slightly different moves now. Fire spreads. Roll out of that. Feels good. This guy's got a ton of health. I am in danger. Yeah. Dude, this bird. This death bird. This is also yet another enemy I found that doesn't bleed. Oh my god, those bolts hurt so bad. Holy shit. I'm far enough away to heal. Jesus. Oh, I was too far away. Oof. Get me out of that. It doesn't build up the death too quickly. still obnoxious. Oh shit, that fire spreading. I have concerns. But I feel like that's justified. fire. Okay, well, I'm just gonna take a million damage from that. That's fine. It's 
there's still fire all over the ground. Dude, this fucking bird. Oh shit. Oh no, my stamina regen. It's okay, I wasn't using it anyway. really managed to squeeze in my physic until now. It should help a lot. It's got that gradual healing effect. Help deal with all the uh, magic damage that's bleeding through my shield. I was like, oh god, I'm dead. But he missed the grab. So I was about to heal after the, eating all that fire damage. <laughs> Clearly I need a better shield. Yeah, that seems to be the, that seems to be the issue. Holy shit, what a boss. Jeez. That was only 70,000 souls. Well. Alright, death rituals... GG's, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. 20 decks, 18 int. Who would have thought an int scaling weapon in this game? No, there's not nearly enough of those. Alright, ritual spear used by priests of old who were permitted to come among to come among the death birds. The priests became guardians of the birds through the rite of death, which also serves as an oath sworn to their distant resurrection. Unique call unique skill spear call ritual. Thrust the spear high, bearing prayers into the sky to summon a downpour of spectral spears. How much blood build up? I believe it's 97. Yeah, 97. You watched a Q kill it and he died many more times? Yeah, but I also switched my weapon to bleed, so it's dealing a bit less base damage, but has the blood loss build up. Which is frustrating because I have overall better damage now because of the bleed, but ever since I changed it, I've fought almost exclusively enemies that don't bleed. <laughs> like, there have been so many enemies that are just like spirits or skeletons or something like that ever since I switched it. Excuse you? What was that? Oh. I see. Am I to be struck by lightning? Oh, I see the lightning strikes. Oh, that means there's vulgar blooms about. Yeah. Oh, hey, there we go. Where the lightning falls, the vulgar bloom grow. So saith me. So I don't see anything around its feet, which makes me think I'd probably get into it from up top. Oh wait, no, there is stuff around its feet. Okay. Yeah, I just saw it. It's much harder to see, but it's there. It's not bright, glowy white. It's like a... 
darker. Or maybe it's the same color and it's just because there's the like snow on the on the rock. We did it, boys. Very nice, very nice. Cool, cool. Still not a chest. Not a chest. All right. Okay. Wait, that's the um. Yeah, that's the that's the pain I felt with bleed so far. Though I was contemplating switching my. to go with my dog medicine. I was thinking about... I was looking at other weapons in my inventory where I was like, okay, I can just use this weapon instead, but I want something very similar to the Twin Blade that doesn't have, like... Like, if I could use this one, that would be phenomenal. That, that would just be perfect, but it has that faith scaling and holy damage instead of just strength scaling. And it doesn't have an Ash of War slot, so I can't fix that. So, I was looking through other weapons to maybe, like, try. But they all have, like, an Int or a Faith or some sort of scaling. And no Ash of War slot to fix it, so it's just like, eh. Eh. Like this one, for example, would be perfect. But it has that dex, dex of 20 requirement. Morningstar is another one, but it's another bleed weapon. The Nox Flowing Hammer is. Uh, what are we after? I'm mostly just exploring, but I did talk, like, as I approached the area, uh, Latena, the Spirit Ash Lady, the Albanoric Woman, said that the other half of her medallion is somewhere in the fortress up here in the north. So that is what we're doing today. Or, as of right now, that's what we're doing. But I was still poking through my inventory looking for a possible different weapon to use. I think the hammer is just the just the one, right? The Nox Flowing Hammer. Oh really? Oh you breathe frost. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, I don't like that. Can you come out here? Oh Jesus, it's all the way out here, alright. You fancy legendaries? None that I can equip now. Castle Soul. To remember this guy's attack pattern. Actually, there's a third. 
third strike to that one. That's a single hit. So that's one, two, third strike. Right there. Could have gotten a fast hit, I think, not a strong hit. One, two. Okay. That's one big hit. the cross breath let's get out of that oh there's more stuff over there let's not aggro that ow wasn't locked on and i turned i think that's a three hit yeah i should have i should have waited i know that one That's bad. Oh, I can't. Wait, that one's injured? Smithing stone seven. This one's already half dead. It's three hit. Know this. The whole not losing stamina thing when you block is just disgusting. Let's build up. And another so seven. So dumb. Big fan. Alright, now I'm gonna go respawn them because I wanted to change my great rune. And I'm pretty sure those respawn. Now that we did all that work. Also, I probably have enough runes to level. Yeah, it really doesn't. It's so dumb. I love it. Like, this is what it's all about. This is what, like, this is the ultimate goal of the build. You know? Just to be invincible. We did it. We, we have achieved maximum thickness. And I couldn't be happier about it. Uh, it's about 20, yeah, 25 HP looks right. So we're not soft capping anything. Yet. Alright, where is LT Grey at? Oh, they don't respawn. Well, alright then. Color me shocked. Okay. Spear to attack with the shield up. That's true. Yeah, I know the thrusting weapons like Grey Pierce and Spears can attack with the shield up. Maybe I should look into one of those. Do halberds do that? I gotta test this real fast. Because I have a ton of halberds. But I do have some decent spears I can use too, like this one. Um, this one has a strength scaling. and embrace the shield. Yeah, just 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 hit things with the shield. 
No, halberds do not. Okay. Oh, I have the dex requirement to use some of these items now that I have the great rune on. That's why. Uh, and the faith requirement as well. I couldn't normally use this. Because my faith is only 12. But because I have the great rune, there's a, there are items that are available to me now that generally would not be. Um... Eh, we'll maybe get there eventually. Yeah, B strength at base seems pretty good. It is one of those, uh, it's a unique armament though, so I won't ever be able to change the scalings on it. When I say unique, I mean, um... Well, you did Volcano Manor, right? Like, you were there yesterday. I saw you in there on your other character. Um... It's the item that you get to fight the boss with. in Stormville Castle. Somebody just was throwing firebombs at me. Holy shit, the arm on this guy. God damn. I can't throw that far. Nice ballista, bro. Yeah, I legitimately haven't seen these Skeletron guys since, like, Stormville Castle. And look, yet again, it's a whole bunch of enemies that don't bleed. I think I might, if I find another Ash, of, or if I find another, um... Oh, he is there. Okay. I was just gonna break this. You can totally break these. You just had to hit them hard enough. I didn't know that until I was playing my two-handed character. Uh, but I might just switch my weapon back to heavy. Hi. I need you to not. Instead of blood. Oh, hello! Painting. Sorcerer. Painting. Yeah. Well, doggos that die in one hit. Would not have expected that inside this area. I mean, I know how paintings work. You need to go to the location. Like, it says it in the item description. You just need to go to the location. I just haven't really put any effort into finding a location. Also, this has got to be the derpiest bird I've ever run into. This dude's a fucking idiot. I've just put, like, negative effort into finding, like, the actual locations. That's all. Okay. So we want to go this way. And I suppose inside. There's no kick-down ladder here, is there? No. Just some stupid bird that got himself stuck. Alright, let's see what's over here.
All right. Yeah, hello. Like, these enemies aren't particularly hard to fight, so it's like... I don't care that I'm not doing full damage with the bleed. Though there is a grace right there. Oh, you're alive still. Not anymore. Banish Night Greaves. Okay. Thaw Frost Bolas. They really want me to have these Thaw Frost Boluses. Been getting a handful of those. <laughs> Why is this door even here? Like, I guess it doesn't open, period, so it doesn't really matter, but. Oh dear. All right, Ashes of War for this. Let's go ahead and change it back to... Maybe we'll use this one. I really like the buffing ones. So I can just do one of these and buff myself. Ranged attack would also be good, though. Oh. Got a bunch of stuff there. Because I was using the Giant's Roar, I believe, or Troll, something or other. I don't know. I just love that this bird is incapable of getting to me. Like, I just, I am an untouchable enemy to him. Which is incredible. I think stone five. I was expecting this to be a much higher level area than this. Yeah, there's definitely a lift right here. All right, we're mapping the zone out, mapping out the area. This is this is a spoopy wolf. Oh dear. That's not the right one. Yeah, no, I'll be over here. Okay, bye. Barbarian War does not last very long. The damage increase is quite nice, though. There have been some really dumb enemies in this area so far. Got the key, baby. Let's go. Just between that bird and that knight. Just actual melted brains. Let me take a look at this. Uh, we just got a great sword. Banished Knight's great sword. Just a great sword. It's actually relatively light, though. Like compared to our, um, compared to the twin blade, which is eight point five. For a great sword, it only weighs like ten, which keeps us in medium load. Well, actually, no, we have um, we have a rune on right now, so that's why it's keeping us in medium load. Yeah, because we have slightly higher endurance and such. Never mind.
Would be interested in maybe leveling up that spear, though. Give that a try. Okay, there was loot down here, so I'm gonna go get that. And I believe that's the lift up right there. Can't really see over that way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the lift. Okay. We're already in there. Okay. Up we go. Back up we go. I'm being trolled. It doesn't work. Contraption does not move. Well, all right. If you say so. Oh yeah, clearly, clearly I gotta put on some heavier equipment. I knew it was there. Okay, and I think, yeah, there's the loot right there. I, yeah, boy, let's go. Stormhawk Axe, I already have one of those. I believe. Yeah, now I've got two of them. We can dual wield these bad boys. For what effect? Actual none. Actual none effect. Wait, can I not be able to wield them? Why did that go there? Yeah, look at that. Does actual nothing, but we can do it. Very cool. Very cool. The bird is deaf. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a quick boy. Okay. So, this is. Oh, there's loot under here. We're back in the courtyard. Smoking stone five. No. Yeah. I wonder what this now is this cat over here just hiding? Or is there like a path here? 
Nah, I think there might have been loot. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So we definitely came over here to start with. Went into that room on the left, climbed up the ladder. Anything over here? Uh, if anything, this would be the one because it's got the marking on it, but. Okay. Let's head back up. There's a little ledge right there, but that seems kind of useless. Is it not? I think it's just a faster way down without dying or taking fall damage. I just like breaking those, I don't know why. Could try jumping down over here. I've already been there though. So I guess I need to go back in the other way. Over here. Oh, hi. When I say back in, I mean come here for the first time. You are the worst guard I have ever seen. Oh, because he was bugged. That's why. This is the guy from up top. Gotcha. Dude, I have this armor already, don't I? Oh. Uh, if it weren't for the fact that the poise on this thing... Uh, the poise on my armor is insane. This would actually be pretty good. Okay, okay. This is an area I haven't gone up to yet. I will take your butterflies very much so. Interesting. There's a whole bunch of like openings here that seem to have like oil or some sort of fluid poured down them. I'm not entirely sure what that's about. Alright, well the bonfire was here. We can go further in. 
And, uh, well, seeing this, I don't feel like that's a bad idea. Yeah. Oh, great sun, frigid sun of soul, surrender yourself to the eclipse and grant life to the soulless bones. Eclipse Shotel. Another legendary armament. For you. Hey, look, it's got a faith requirement. There's a curved slashing sword. Storied sword and treasure of Castle Soul that depicts an eclipsed sun drained of color. One of the legendary armaments. In Soul, the sight of an eclipse inspires a dreadful awe, preventing an onlooker from averting its gaze. Unique skill Death Flare sets the lustrous the lusterless sun ablaze with the Prince of Death's flames, inflicting the death ailment upon foes. Follow up with an additional input to bring down the armament, triggering an explosion. Interesting. Same stuff. Alright. Cool, cool. It definitely looks cool. It's like a sickle, but it has the little things around the edges. Uninteractable door. Love it. Love it. see you. Albinorix under the stairs. Fucking Christ, man. I had no time to roll out of that. Get off me. Dick. Drinking my fuck! God damn it! A little asshole in the swing right there alerted everybody. Damn it! Well, it still stands. The hardest enemy in Dark Souls is more than one enemy. That was annoying. Oh, come on. I was mid-swing. I fucking hate these things. Oh, they don't even get summoned. Ooh, this guy's dual wielding. Ooh, okay, that you can't be interrupted out of that. Got it. No problem. Have a seat. another. I can block a lot longer than you, bud, I promise. Javated. Have a seat. Alright. Oh. Already? A Cranked to life. I was not expecting the boss fight already. Okay. Well, let's do this, shall we? 
If not the boss fight, a boss fight. Commander Neon. Ooh, can't just ignore these. Yeah, this is gonna be... Ooh. Buffs him now. Really glad we have 100% guard boost. Cause holy shit, I'm dead anyway. I tried to counterattack once and I fucking died. Got it, no problem. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Definitely gonna have to wait for them to both be in uh, not aggro as fuck attack animations. Um, I think it might actually be faster for me to take the main gate back now. We just run straight up the middle. Take the elevator and go up. Now that the elevator's working. Make sure there's no loot in the corners, you know? This fucking game. Well, alright then. I guess we'll go this way. I never went over here now that I think about it. We'll get back to the boss. But I just kind of held W. Never came up here. Talk shit too soon. There we go. What might that be? Well, I mean, I can't get back up, so I guess we're gonna get it. It's a rune arc. Lovely. Oh god, it's it's rats that don't die in one hit. The worst kind of rat. Smithing stud sevens are nice though. Oh, I'm back up here. Okay. Thanks. There is a battlement down there that leads me right back to where I was. And hey, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Right here. Oh, okay. Teleports behind you. Nothing personnel, kid. Okay.
Cerulean Amber Medallion plus one. I already have the plus two version of that. It's good to know that this is where I find it. Just gives you a bunch of FP. Or not FP. Um, yeah, it is FP. Yeah. Up we go, I guess. Oh, hello. Pathway around. Aha. I see. Welcome back. Nice. Floating mushroom. Okay. Very cool. We done did the thing. We're gonna have to figure out how to go roof hopping eventually. Because there is definitely a pathway up there to take. Well, I did just die to the boss, so... They'd have to run back. Fuck. Well, hello there. dies to bosses, I don't know, some kind of some kind of scrub bad player. If I had to guess. So I've always said that the hardest enemy in Dark Souls is two enemies at once, but this boss, wow. I literally can't loot it because it's floating. This boss has notched it up a step further because it is three bosses and not just two. It's pretty nuts. Not gonna lie. Alright, let's do this. Wow, that completely whiffed. That is highly unfortunate. Common misconception. It is not gravity. It is indeed multiple enemies at one time. summons more. He doesn't seem to be. The fuck are you? Oh, he's got a little peg leg. retractable peg leg. Don't leave too much of an opening after each of your attacks now. I have concerns. I think that's warranted. What I was talking about about bosses earlier or enemies that would have like really big openings and the success of attack healing might be worth it. This is one of those times. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting a charge, I was about to heal myself. Not 
quite enough time in between this. Oh shit. I wasn't expecting to follow up immediately there either. I'm trying to find a chance to drink. This seems fine. Alright. Oh, yeah. We get there eventually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to do it to him. Veteran's prosthesis. GG's, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Veteran's prosthesis is a fist we upon. There we go. Uh, lightning damage scaling. Follow it up with a strong attack, and it does the uh, does the little kick. That's pretty cool. Where is my? There we go. Oh well, let's actually read the description on it. I suppose instead of just trying it out, bladed prosthetic leg enwreathed with the power of lightning. Instead, attached to the fist, Commander Nyal. Veteran of Castle Soul offered his this prosthesis in exchange for the lives of defeated knights held prisoner. He went on to lead these men as an army of no nation. Unique skill storm kick. New game plus you beat him with his leg. You could. Very much could. Thrust the prosthetic leg blade into the ground, creating a storm, follow up with a strong attack, perform a lightning infused jumping attack. We have seen that firsthand. All right, so we're still looking for the um, half of the medallion. Oh, it's level up time, though. More damage. More health. More damage. Definitely more damage. Alright, so hopefully the item that I seek is here. Oh, so this one moves, huh? So this one moves, huh? I see how it is, game. I see how it is. Unbelievable. Is this my medallion half? Hell yeah, dude. Lord Michaela, forgive me. The sun has not been swallowed. Our prayers were lacking. Your comrade remains soulless. I will never set my eyes on it now. Your divine Halig tree. It's Halig tree, not Halig tree. But yeah. Alright, we've done it. We have acquired both halves of the medallion. And I have no idea where to take it. Fuck yeah. Alright, so now I'd like to return to my side quest of figuring out how to roof hop this place. Which I can just go back down to the boss's bonfire. I don't have to take the elevator all the way down and walk. So when I was up over there, on the other side of this area, I 
I saw what looked like some battlements to jump across. The description get up. That's true. We'll get there when we get there. Actually, can you stay up here. Oh, right up there. I think there's a spot right over here that we could walk on. Up there. So I gotta figure out how to get to that battlement. Oh, just a clinic in fighting rats. Who knew you needed a course for it, but I'm here for you. Who knew? All right. Well, you've already been over there. So my goal is... There. It looks like I can get on these rooftops. Like over there. But how do I get up there? Later, brother. I also don't know what the board game is, but I'll be playing it tonight. Well, let's get back up. Let's see if we can't figure this out. Hmm. It doesn't look like there's going to be anything over there. How do I get to you? And it looks like that window right there, right above my helmet, right there, that window, might be open. Just gotta figure out how to get there. ladder in here. There's a little pathway up right here, though. I know I've been over here before. Well, nothing has indicated to me that there's actually something up there that we can get to. So...
Well. Well, Tenno, if you're really curious about what the board game is uh, tomorrow, just stop by and ask, and I'll let you know. Because <laughs> I'll be playing it tonight, but it seems as if he's already gone. Part of me really hoped I would have hit a kill floor, jumping outside out of bounds of the <laughs> of the castle. Part of me was hoping for it. Ooh. Free stuff. Bunch of runes. Bunch of bunch of runes. Mm. Delicious, delicious runes. Mm, just some rubble. I don't know what all is back here, if anything. Just kind of poking around. I'm basically done with the castle there. We got the medallion and we got the boss kill. So. Hello, birdie. If I got a medallion that uh, gradually regenerated FP as well, I'd be broken. Broken beyond belief, but I don't think they'd put that in this game. It's possible it exists. I don't know. Ooh. Hey there. Hey there, little looty. Somber Stone 8. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Ah, oh, no, there's no shot it would let me do that, huh? All right, and we are back out front. Okay, so finished the castle. Now we can continue forward over here. So we were at the First Church of America. We had a conversation with Melina. Now, when we found the... Okay, before we continue, let's see if we have the conversation to repeat here. We don't. Alright, so when we found the... Um, Frenzied Flame, Frenzied Flame Proscription, Pros, Pro, wherever the fuck we are, I couldn't interact with it, but there was a dialogue option here with Melina that was very distraught. She was like, please don't do this, Blask already at maximum? Okay. Apparently we can have 14 flasks. But I was fully unable to interact with this area. Can't open the door, you can't swing. Completely unable to interact. 
so I had no idea. But Melina was like shaky voice, distraught, pleading with us to not do this. And then when we come over here, we're in the First Church of America, she's very calm, very composed, slightly happy. She's like, this is the right path, this is what we should be doing, etc., etc., uh, style talk. So... I don't know, man. I don't know. Just a good old zombie doggo, huh? Alright. Couple of them. And more. Ooh. Shiny eyes, zombie doggo. 3k souls in him. And these guys only had 600. Wow. That's quite big. But all of Zaurin's? I believe so. I mean, I didn't come over here to not explore, so... Up we... Ooh, an Everjail! Hell yeah, dude! Put me in, coach. Lord Contenders Everjail. Also, you can see a marionette balloon over there. And over there. Interesting. Those are little puppet guys. Dude, yeah, let's do this. I'm excited. I love these Everjail fights. Round table night fight. Well, that was cool. Dude, his posture, poise, whatever, is insane. Oh, I'm out of stamina. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I've been so careless around my stamina. Table Knight Vike, thou hast been slain. Vike's Dragon Bolt. Oh, fingerprint helm armor gauntlets and greaves. So this is the fingerprint shield. So I wonder if this thing's gonna be cracked or not. But this armor is gonna be really fucking good. No? Okay, Iron Helm, singed and blistered by fingers, worn by Vike, Knight of the Round Table. No other tarnished was closer to the throne of Elden Lord than Vike, but without announcement, Vike traveled far below the capital and was scorched by the flame of frenzy. Did he make his choice for his maiden, or some other force lure him with suggestion? Okay, so that, that kind of solidifies my theory that, um, yes, if I do not take the Flame of Frenzy myself, Melina dies, 
but if I do, then some bad shit happens. More or less. Oh, it's the giant zombie doggos. Kangaroo dogs from uh, Kaled. shield. How dare you. Well, I was going to hit him in the eyeball, but it didn't work. Okay. There is another. He's got like one HP left. Sag. Okay, so there is a pathway without taking the gust. The spirit spring jump. Good, good. And actually, we can't get to there, can we? I mean, we might be able to. The power of Skyrim horse. Yeah, we can make it to the Ever Jail without it. Yeah. I don't even need the potions really. Like I have thirteen left. An interesting little area we have here. So I think I want to go this way first to grab the map, and then we'll worry about going back to other areas. Oh, easy. Okay, why did I not crit in there? Feels weird, man. I do want to go around and get all these smoldering butterflies, though, because I will say I've gone through a significant amount of them making fire pots. And what have we here? It's another little fort. Did the shield give any hint to opening the door? Um, honestly, I don't know. I didn't actually look at the description of it very much. A great stone shield with an intricately carved fingerprint pattern, one of the heaviest of all great shields, part of the tomb of an ancient god, the readerless fingers. Oh, sorry. Part of an ancient tomb of an ancient part of the tomb of an ancient god, the readerless fingers relayed their message through these imprints, said to be the very seeds from which the frenzy first sprouted. Nah. Nothing on it. Just some lore bit, which is nice. Do love a good bit of lore. Oh, this is interesting. So there's one of them here that's like bowing and has like thorns wrapped all around her body. Very interesting. They all seem to be looking that way for some reason. I 
I am the sneakiest man that has ever existed. Look at this armor, it is clearly meant for stealth. And absolutely nothing else. He turned at just the right time and saw me. Oh dear. Oh shit. Where the fuck did you come from? Sparkly fingers. Mm. All right, time to do some dumb shit. Big boy, let's tango. Very cute. You have a flamethrower on your head. Well, I got a rock on my arm. Staff of the guilty. Shit, that's a three hitter. All right. So that's the weapon art. That's really fucking cool. that hammer from fighting one of those guys previously. Stone sword key. Oh dear. Goodbye, my dear. I don't want to look at that staff, though. I don't think I had that staff before. Not that I particularly care, but... Staff of the Guilty. Hey, it's something I can use! Causes slight blood loss buildup. Nice. It's like, you can swing it if you want, but you really shouldn't. <laughs> Heretical staff fashioned from a smoldering, withered sapling that turns the blood of sacrifices pierced by it into glintstone, similar to hex magic. Sorceries are scaled with faith rather than intelligence when wielding the staff, which enhances thorn sorceries in particular. There we go. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I do think I want to switch this out for something more utility focused. Um, something like one of these two, probably. I'm going to go with the Cerulean one. So I do tend to favor using... Bestial Vitality quite often. Oh, hi. The HP gain from Bestial Vitality is much higher than the HP gain from critting stuff. Just in terms of an overall value. Oh, there's two of them. 
killing them both. I am in a very dangerous position right now at the edge of this cliff. Oh god. Okay. Let's see. Oh, nice. Prelates charge. So we can actually we can put that on a different weapon now if we wanted to. It's the same uh, it's the same fire combat art as the one the guy used against us. Need to restock on fire pots. There we go. Alrighty then. Love, love, love bestial vitality. It is a wonderful thing. We are going to come back to this little fort here. I just want to go get the map first. I am so glad that these chains do not have holes in them and are filled in by the snow that we can just walk across. Holy shit, that would be terrifying. Trying to try and cross these. Let's clear that. Grab this. Mountaintops of the Giants East. Grab this. I'm not gonna rest here though. Is that an actual giant? No, it's a troll. It's a troll. And back we go. Oh dude, look at the view here. I'm just gonna hop off and walk. Look at that. One look at all, true, very true. But it would have to be like a torrent sized hole because how many people are actually going to walk across this on foot like I am right now? So I definitely walked across it on my horse before. Ah! Oh. What an unbelievably gorgeous game. Garrison. Well, hello there. Zombie doggo. And hello there, Flame Guardian. Why do you have a name? No offense, but like... Why was that a named NPC? I can't believe you would say that about me, Tenno. My character is not fat or substantially large at all. He's been watching his figure, thank you. Yeah, watching his figure grow in size marvelously. Fuck, I wish I could critical rats. They fucking deserve it. I don't know how to get up there. Oh, there's another guy with a name. Interesting. Very interesting. If we go then. Please let me get on my double jumping horse so I can get up here. <laughs> okay, the first time I dismounted back there was intentional. Like, I, I pressed the button to get off the horse so I could walk. But... That time it just kicked me off my horse when I came around the corner. 
Hence the confused look. Like, what the fuck is going on? Alright, let's go back inside. We'll figure our way out. Figure our way up. Somehow. I see the ladder. We get there eventually. May not be quick, may not be pretty, but it is eventual. Also, it's a lucky night. Erd tree leaves have fallen. require smithing stone eight at the moment to continue upgrading any of my gear so there is that um, well oh if I can get up over there I should be able to. I can see it. Just gotta figure it out, huh? What is the point of this place? Feels like it might be a quest area, and the more and more I'm exploring it, it's got like random named enemies and other such nonsense. Guardians Garrison. That's the thing. I understand that this is a... It's kind of like a fort. So it's not really a... Not like a big castle area. But... There should be something here. Something of note, especially with all the grandstanding to get up here. Well, I wouldn't say grandstanding, just the amount of people we had to fight through to get into it. Hmm. 
This doesn't feel like the illusion walls I have to place. Oh no, the lucky night's over. I squandered it. Wasted it away. How dare. Also, there's summons available here. Like... It just doesn't make sense. Something's not adding up. Eight pictures of Spider Man. Hold on a second. Where does that pathway lead to? Less and less interested in staying here the longer I am. So I think I'm just gonna leave. Bit of a drop. So I suppose, ooh, there's the fire. I guess we're here. Flame Peak. Bunch of dead, what seems to be giants, wrapped up in thorns. It looks almost like the Death Blight, but not quite. It might be, though. But I think it's not, because the little things sticking through their stomachs are the same thing as the they're sticking out of the ground over there, next to the fire dudes. Alright, let's see if this is just a reskin troll, or if it's an actual... ...enemy, because it's absolutely just a reskin troll, but... Yeah, it's just a living troll. Oh, you did a little barrel roll, hey! So it's not just a reskin troll. Oh, a hand? Get the fuck out of here. No! Don't hit him in the face. Get out of here, you little nerd. Oh, he's behind me. Sash. I dislike that these are here.
Not because I dislike fighting them. Quite the contrary, they're quite easy for my build to handle. Um, they're just really fucking gross and I hate them. Somber stones, seven. Quite a few of those. From what I remember, I think those are actually quite expensive. So maybe able to sell those? Because, like, they only work on specific weapons, and I highly doubt I'm ever going to find the need for, like, 25 somber smithing stone sevens. You know? That's just... Free runes right there, baby. Oh, hello. How did you damage me? I am... I am confused. Oh, I want... I want there to be a boss with one of these hands. It's just like a, a giant one. That's all. Just a, just a big, giant hand. Or maybe two of them. Go full Nintendo. Do you think Nintendo, whatever, like, let's say another, another company made a boss that was like two hands. Do you think Nintendo would ever acknowledge the fact that like, so many of the bosses in their games are like that. And I try and sue them. Like, hey, this is our thing. We're gonna be allowed to do that. This is my gimmick. You can't have it. Well, I thought I heard tense music, like something was about to attack me, but... I guess not. You think so, Tenno? I think it would have to very blatantly copy move sets or something in order to have it be something just took damage. The war against the giants, champions battle, trolls betray, fire vanquished, the era of the Erd Tree begins. Damn, that was a that was a stomp of the quickness. Dude, look at him doing his little combat roll. I'll hit one of these days. Promise. There we go. Got your nose. This is fine. As long as I'm not off the cliff, this is fine. This is also fine. Yeah, you got it, dude. Set. I understand. An Arteria leaf. This fucking game. Is that the place right there? No, it's not. Is 
Get off the horse! Get off the horse! Thank you for removing yourself from the horse. Seriously? Quit fucking tickling me. Stone seven there. All right, and off we go. Of course, there was. What are you gonna do now, huh? Oh, what are you gonna do? You stuck over there. Oh no, poor guy. I knew there was gonna be a gap there. I knew it. FromSoft can't hide anything from me. Unless it's intended gameplay mechanics, in which case, yeah, you absolutely can. Because I am awful at finding those. Ooh, is this one of the warrior graves? Ooh. Wonder, I wonder. Just gonna poke around out back before we go in. Just making sure there's nothing back there. It looks like the entrance to one of the warrior graves. Of which we've found two so far. Which is the, the one right outside the capital and the one that everybody's probably found, which is the beginner area one. The first thing you see as you come out of the tutorial. And it is the giant conquering hero's grave. Hell yeah, dude. It's level up time. You know what that means. More strength. Oh yes. Strength in action. I would love to use the stone sword key to open this. I don't know what's in here, but I'm about to find out. Oh, no enemies. Both Bashath. Flame protect me. Greatly increases fire damage negation. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so yeah, we have um Flame cleanse me. Equipped as well. I never read this one. Incantation of Vike, Knight of the Round Table Hold, summons red lightning to bolster both the caster's body and their armament held in the right hand. A chance the armament with a lightning affinity attacks and increases maximum equipment load. However, lightning damage lightning damage negation will be reduced. Of all the knights, Vike the Dragon Spear was the one Lance Lanciax loved the most. I know who the fuck that is. Probably a lightning dragon of some sort. Very cool. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick poke in here. Oh hi. You are not what I was expecting to see there. But I do need to leave soon, so I need to I need to make food before I go. I'm 
Really? A watchdog? An uninteractable watchdog. Yeah, now this is just the flavor of bullshit I was expecting. Some weird shit going on. There's shadows, I can't interact with them at all. If there's fire, there's usually a way I'm supposed to go! Hey there, buddy! I like the model of that sword. Okay. None of them are breathing fire anymore, so. So that's how that works. Nice. So if I go back here, will those guys be gone? No, but he is interactable. So I wonder if I can get this guy to come up here now. Hey, buddy. Hi. Get him to come up here. Are you... Are you coming, or...? Ha! Figured it out. Zero stamina for blocking. So broken. So, so broken. The whole shtick behind these guys is they're supposed to be, like, super hard hitting. And I just don't give a fuck. Love it, but I think now is a good time. We figured out a little gimmick, but I think now is a good time to call it. Hundred hours, level one forty-three, and still probably nowhere fucking near done with the game. And I love it, love every second of it. But I gotta go. So appreciate you guys joining me today. Hope you had fun watching me die in bullshit ways a couple of times, but mostly watching me break the game because who knew 100% guard boost was attainable, but also really fucking broken. So, I am going to go. Tomorrow, we'll be returning to Elden Ring. Fantastic. Great to hear. Monday, likely no stream. I've been streaming Elden Ring Mondays a lot, but I have a lot of stuff to do on Monday. So, lots and lots of things to take care of. So, probably no stream on Monday. But, for tomorrow, right back to this. But until then, take care of yourself, stay beautiful, and don't do anything I wouldn't do. That's my spiel. It's a short list. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.